Let's start with a wild story out of Gaithersburg, Maryland that proves that literally nothing is sacred these days. Police are asking for the public's help in identifying suspects after two men allegedly broke into St. Martin of Tours Church and stole a 12 inch polished bronze crucifix. A. Who steals from God? Are times really that hard? They must have thought the cross was gold instead of bronze because these two going to be real disappointed when they try and take that thing to cash for gold. The only jewelry store with the feel of a bodega. Also, if they're Christians, I'd imagine stealing from a church would get you a first class ticket to hell. Is it really worth it for a bronze Jesus piece? These two got their faces on camera after all. They should just return the thing and hope that the church doesn't press charges. God forgives, but felony convictions don't. They follow you around the rest of your life, just like the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Next, let's take a trip up the road to Baltimore County and look at a story of redemption in the most Baltimore of ways. Since the Baltimore County Public Library announced late fees would be abolished and outstanding balances would be wiped clean, there's been a huge upswing in extremely overdue books being returned. That includes a copy of Jubilee Trail by Gwen Bristow that's been overdue since 1957. Yes, 1957. It was black and white TVs in 1957, and I probably couldn't even legally be in here. Also, a copy of Gail Godwin's A Mother and Two Daughters that's been overdue since 1983. Yes, 1983, the year of the perm. Really, just keep the books at that point. They are yours now. You are common law married to those books after all that time. Is the person that checked that book out in 1957 even still alive? Are they? Are they really? Or did the relatives and loved ones just take it back in their memory? It's what they would have wanted. No, it ain't, because if what they would have wanted, they would have returned it themselves. At this point, that thing is an heirloom. Shout out to whomever returned it for righting the wrongs of their ancestors. But these books belong on Antique Roadshow, not in a library. The world is a better place thanks to people like them who no longer live in fear of library late fees. And I also love the fact that those fees is what kept you from doing the right thing all this time. I mean, you could have mailed it anonymously or left it on a bus like the rest of us do. Finally, let's wrap up with a story that's going to affect the entire area this week. Don't act like I'm the only one who found a book on the circulator. The Thanksgiving holiday travel rush began this weekend. Travelers at Reagan National Airport ran into long lines and a changed layout with new security checkpoints. Our own Eric Flack shared footage of the lines on his Twitter feed. TSA free check. That was from Saturday. Most folks hadn't even started thawing the turkey yet. Some people still haven't bought theirs. It's me. Yeah, I'm, I'm some people. It's going to be a long week for those travelers. These new security checkpoints were designed to handle the increase in holiday passengers. Saturday responded with word, really? And proved that travelers will be dealing with the lines regardless. Now that Saturday gave us a sneak preview of holiday travel, brace yourselves, stay strong. Don't let Spirit Airlines take your spirit. You're just days away from feasting with your loved ones. Just the dream of gravy is that much closer to being a reality in your life. And for those of you whose relatives' food is nasty, you know who I'm talking about. The macaroni soggy, the peas are mush, and the chicken tastes like wood. The hip, a hop, a hip. You know who I'm talking about. Those of you without the luxury of dreaming deliciousness to come, y'all, just go ahead and step out of line. You got nothing to look forward to. And you see how good it felt when you relieved that pressure and you just stepped out of line, you called for that Uber. Go home, you tried. Wawa's Hot Turkey Gobbler is still on sale and it is spectacular. One more thing, I can't wrap up this monologue without saying congratulations to the Washington Spirit for winning their first National Women's Soccer League Championship. The Spirit faced a ton of adversity this season. We talked about it on this very program. But like diamonds, the pressure made them stronger and they shine when it mattered most. Congratulations from all of us here at WUSA 9.